Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, we're going to do another workshop video today, something um, that I think you guys will be quite interested in. Uh, we've decided to do a little bit of work um, to look after some of our existing customers with the ZTEC engine. Um, obviously a lot of people talk around how they're going to get more performance out of the car um, and there's a few easy ways without actually doing a great deal internally to the engine. Um, we have in the past developed a, um, a more performance orientated version of our manifold and exhaust um, but just recently um, I've been involved last week or so actually finalising and making a proper jig um, and some proper tooling for um, the full upgrade um, 42 mil uh, for to one exhaust manifold system. Now, obviously there's some advantages to this system. Primarily one is obviously performance. Um, we've done dyno testing and we're gaining about 10 to 11 horsepower um, with this system over the stock exhaust system. Um, we're also gaining um, about eight foot pound of torque in the mid range. So the power is pretty much everywhere. Um, you can actually feel the difference, it's quite um, staggering really. You wouldn't think you'd feel 11 horsepower, but it's actually quite noticeable. Um, and that's achieved by obviously running um, a bigger bore piping. So obviously it's a 42 mil exterior pipe rather than a 38 mil, um, which allows obviously more airflow. Um, that then combines into a full um, stainless slip joint. Whereas before um, we made a fabricator part, um, which is obviously more of a, a budget item. Um, this runs the more premium slip joint, which gives better flow characteristics. It's then transitioning into a two and a half inch silencer, which obviously, again, that doesn't restrict any of the flow. What that also gives is a much deeper, nicer sound. So it sounds much more kind to the 2.5 Joratec, because um, the 2.5, um, again, runs this two and a half inch 63 mil system. Um, the other advantages, um, it's going to be made from full 304 stainless, um, which is a lot more corrosion resistant. Um, it's easier to polish um, and it looks a lot nicer. The previous versions, whilst they are stainless, they're made from a 409 grade stainless, um, which um, you obviously you do get some of the brown tarnishing. Um, the flange that it'll be bolted onto will also be um, stainless. Um, this one on this car is not stainless. This is the, this is the first prototype. But this flange will be um, maybe a 10 mil stainless flange. Um, and obviously the whole thing then will be 304 stainless right through to the exhaust. Um, you know, we've done work to get the length so that we've got nice clearance here. But what you'll also notice is the bend profile is the same as the 38 mil. So if you are wanting to upgrade your car from a 38 to a 42, theoretically, you're going to have to do a little bit of work in cutting your bonnet out, but the profile should be in exactly the same place. So it'll just be a case of just making that profile a little bit bigger. So you just make it bigger um, on the fact that you're not necessarily going to need a new bonnet or anything. Um, so yeah, so these now are jigged up. We've got all the tooling ready. Um, and it's going to be a bit of a series that we're going to do of kind of looking after some of the previous customers with the ZTEC engine um, to start giving some performance upgrades. Um, but yeah, bang for buck, this is probably going to be your best bang for buck, 10 horsepower out of the box, um, certainly combined with throttle bodies, um, you know, pricing wise, it's going to be priced a little bit less than what we charge for the uh, manifold on the, on the 2.5 Duratec in the fact that it's not a 4.2 to 1, it's just a 4 to 1. Um, but I would imagine you're going to be somewhere around the £700 price point um, for 10 horsepower without touching anything, that seems good value to me. Yeah, it's worth noting that there is an option to still retain the catalytic converter. Um, this customer um, is going to use this exhaust for track day, um, so he's not having a catalytic converter in there. Um, and I think he's going to retain his old system with the cat for MOTs. Um, and also, you've got the option, uh, whether we put it in a standard, we'll you know, get some feedback, whether we put the, uh, the O2 sensor in there. Um, I, I suspect this customer doesn't want the O2 sensor um, it's only really doing the bits for fast idle for emissions. Um, but yeah, there'll be some options on that as well. Yeah, so watch this space. Um, this will be available through Kitspares.